Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from beautiful Corona, California. Today is episode number 454. Yes, 454 times with you guys. How about that? Okay, here we go. Our 454 show is coming up right now. And uh, let's see. We'll see who are welcoming. And let's see if we can get this going. All righty. So we got some friends. Uh, we're notifying you in our live. Keep going. We're letting more viewers know about your live. Good, good, good. Let's see if we can co host Javier for the first time. Jessica Blind Jeep. No, nope, it's not letting me. Okay, you think we'd get over this at one point? Uh, no. Okay, so we don't want anybody. Okay, here we go. Okay, invite another host to go live together. No. Uh, Sarah, how are you? Welcome to the show. Jennifer Dirks from Wisconsin, how are you? And let's see who else is joining us tonight. Uh, uh, Becky Ottenberry. How are you, Becky? Good to see you, Sarah. Michael Ramirez is with us from Azusa, California. Hello. Hello, Ramirez. And let's see. Come on, Facebook. Are we good? Be nice to Naz. Are you okay? Can you guys hear me? Is everything good? Welcome. Okay, I'm nervous with that comment. Come on, Facebook, be nice to Naz. <laughs> okay. Let's see all the friends here. Okay. Dolores here is here from uh, Louisiana as well. So we got, let's see, we got joined. Oh, Jazz89, Sarah C410, Young Savvy is here. Eric Tur, Sunny Beck is here, and Sugarland Auto Finance is here. We need a car. I need a car for my son. <laughs> All right, Frank uh, Tyson Savannah is here. Savannah Tyson, probably. Edge Lopez, Kimberly, 12134, Cloudy. Welcome, everybody. I can't read everybody's name, but we are here, and... We're going to start. This show is about you guys. You guys are the funny ones. You're the ones who are going to be funny tonight. So I'm just, um, I'm your host. So, Naz from Direction Seeking Wisconsin. Welcome. All right, let's see. You know how you guys, when I write something new, I want to, you'd be the first ones to, to hear about it. So regardless of, uh, let's see, why is my computer showing too close to you guys? So. Uh, whenever I do a new bet, I write a new bet, I, you're the ones to to hear it first. So it's raw. It's not like edited. It's not, it doesn't go through any filtering yet. So here it is. Teresa, how are you? Mark Mond, welcome. All right. You know how sometimes people have trigger words that triggers you, that makes you, <laughs> that gets you upset or going well mine is occupied i'm a palestinian when i go to the bathroom and i'm waiting in line and the stall is full there's one stall and it's occupied that's what they call it occupied when i think of the word occupied i think of revolution i think of just you know like people are upset people are angry which is what was happening there was a man on the throne that was there for too long that does not care about the pressure and the pain that people outside are feeling he doesn't care he can't relate to them he's been on the throne for too long and the line is going on and the pressure is mounting and the people are upset so I had to do something. So I started gathering the people together. We're chanting, you know what? We all need relief. 
relief for everyone, relief for everyone. And uh, the guy is just sitting there. So I'm like, what are we going to do? You know, it's just we have, so everybody's upset now. I am the one in the lead. So I started knocking. It's like, excuse me, get out. We're going to remove him. So we removed that man from the throne. And then it was me. So I went in and I shut the door and I started chanting four more years, <laughs> four more years, four more years. That's what it is. Occupy. <laughs> Oh, no, this is going to be great. <laughs> so that's the thing. It triggers me. Occupied revolution. When that happens at my work, we just switch and use the other bathroom, right? Mass in front of the other crowd. Open this door. <laughs> Get that man off the throne. All right, that's good. I think that bit has potential. By the way, if you live near Colorado, Grand Junction, I will be there on Friday and Saturday in you know, from 3 p.m. until 10.30 p.m. is the festival each night, Friday and Saturday. And on Friday, it is myself, Greg Laurie, Mac Powell, uh, Danny Goki, uh, Crowder, and who else? Corey Asbury. Then on Saturday, it'll be myself. David Nasser will be the speaker. The headliner will be Jeremy Camp. And uh, some performers will be We Are Messengers. I Am They. I Am They? Yeah, I Am They. Is that is that appropriate to say? Is that, is that a gender thing? No, I think they're good people. So anyway, we're going to have a great time. It is one of the cheap, not cheapest. It's the most expensive festival to put on. But it's the least expensive to join. So if you want to go in and attend the event, it's a lot cheaper than any other festival. With these kind of names, you're getting four or five headliners each night. So uh, anyway, I've been doing this festival for over 15 years now. I'm their official guy here. Uh, M. Humberner and Daniel O. One of Daniel O. Four point two four. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alrighty. So. Last time I was with you, and by the way, yesterday, if you didn't watch the podcast, comedian Mike uh, James was there. Very funny, very kind. You should enjoy it. So, uh, last time I was with you uh, on Friday night, uh, Thursday night, because Friday I did the singles group event in um, Costa Mesa. Mm. <laughs> I think that explains what happened. Could have used that Jesus is knocking on the door. Knock, knock, the door shall be open. Must not have been Jesus. That's true. Okay. Matt is going to come Friday. Well, say hi to me. Dethrone him. Yes. As an Italian, my trigger words are Olive Garden. <laughs> okay, let's see. I can totally see that. <laughs> Okay, let's see. That's good, Joey. What you? Hi, Ness. Live with Ness family. Welcome. I'm glad you're. Well, thank you, Bobby. Hello. All right. Unusual things to do while experiencing a flight delay at the airport. Unusual things to do while experiencing a flight delay at the airport. This came last Thursday. We asked that question, and thank you, Mr. Rossetti, for that. Here is the answer. At number twenty, do the mac the macarena. At number 19, start singing at the top of your lungs. Number 18, wander around looking lost. <laughs> number 17, juggle knives. At number 16, bark like a dog. At number 15, sit on a stranger's lap. Okay, unusual things to do while experiencing, experiencing a flight delay at the airport. At number 14, stand on your head. At number 13, lay down across three seats. At number 12, start running across all the chairs on the armrests. <laughs> at number 11, ask if you can go for a walk on the tarmac. All right, at number 10, unusual thing to do when your flight is delayed. All right, put on pilot uniform and stumble around like you're drunk. <laughs> uh, bring a foreman grill and have a barbecue. Walk up to old people and offer to sell them ultra-absorbent depends. 
At number seven, become the people greeter at the airport. At number six, start wiping everyone's hands with baby wipes. <laughs> at number five, start a bingo game. At number four, loudly yell, does anyone know the way to San Jose? At number three, act like a reporter and interview people on what they're going to do if their flight is delayed. At number two, sing, I believe I can fly. At number one, unusual things to do while experiencing a flight delay at the airport. Try to find someone willing to trade pants. I think that would be the most fun thing to do. And because you have time, you might, just might, find someone to do it. Alessa Jade 1717, thank you for joining us. All right, funny answers. Brent, hello, Brent, how are you? And let's see. Oh, it's Audra this time. To number 15. Lava, la, good. Number 15 was sit on a stranger's lap. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. All right, today is National Sushi Roll Day. Did you know that? Today is National Sushi Roll Day. So, Phil, Phil 325 and everyone else, the question is, the question is, name your own sushi roll. If you have to name a sushi roll after you, what would it be called? Name of your own sushi roll. What would you name it? Dang an M. <laughs> Dang an M one sushi. <laughs> Who's Dang? I know. I know the thumb guy, Matt, but dang. Catherine Masters, welcome. Leftovers. <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right, guys. Here, also on TikTok, Zach and everybody else, name, what would be the name of your own sushi roll? If you have to make a sushi roll, what do you call it? The Ringer for Teresa. Pigs in a, in a seaweed blanket. That's funny. Troll roll. That's good. Or jelly bean for Rossetti. Okay, let's see. The ringer. Kitten surprised. <laughs> Sushi expands my tushi. <laughs> the big Bob Brew. Bob Brew. <laughs> flipper. Or Fipper. Flipper. I think it's Flipper. That's funny. Artificial roll. Don't really care for sushi. You know what? Until I turned 40, I did not eat sushi, Sarah. I never touched it. The minute people talked about raw fish, it was the end of the conversation for me. And then we, my son John, when he was little, he started, we're starting getting the Costco sushi. Phil, welcome. Michelle, welcome. He started getting those sushi from... Uh, uh, the ten dollar trays, you know, which is like dry and old, and it's not fresh. But he loved it. And one time we had, we took, like, we built up enough courage, and we went to a sushi place, and we fell in love with it. And that's the story. All right, we got sesame crunch for Jennifer. Brent said burnt rice. <laughs> the the big Bob rule. Oh, okay, hey. Nemo, Sarah would name her sushi roll Nemo. Clownfish, greetings, Alan Goodwin, how are you? Let's see, a hot dog for Dolores. Brent said tuna surprise. All right, all right, that's supposing to be the big Bob roll, but spell check, yep. Goldfish bowl. <laughs> Naz, would you ever eat fish eggs? Yes, I would. That's called caviar, and it's very expensive. And in Iran, which is the Persian area, they had the, the most, the best uh, caviar, which is very expensive. And it tastes like fish. Sushi me rolling. <laughs> Sushi me rolling. Okay, let's see. M's go to fill up, to fill you up roll. M's go to fill you up roll. Spicy thighs and flies. <laughs> I've had some that my friend made for me, but with nothing raw in it. That's the only kind I've eaten, never 
every now and then, and only if she makes it. She's a good cook. Oh, good. No, I, I Deadpool. <laughs> Funny, bad. All right, let's see. Uh, Dagra2020, welcome. All right. The question is, if you have to name a sushi roll after you, what would you call it? Filet willy. Haya chop. Unicorn roll. The holy rollers. <laughs> oh, a Christian sushi. The holy rollers. The smoggy cow roll. That's good. Scraps. <laughs> good name for a child. Caviar. <laughs> good. Free willy. That's right. Jellyfish roll. All right, Teresa. The Al Goro. <laughs> That's funny. No, no, no. Wrong button. Wrong button. Rush, shut up. Shut up. Wrong button, Sarah. Sorry. <laughs> Noah Standard. Chum Bites. Mermaid. <laughs> Bottom Feeder. That's good. Sushi Roll. <laughs> The Weight Watchers roll. No rice in it, huh? All righty, let's see. Dagra 2020, welcome back. Guys, on TikTok, you can answer this. Just write what would be, what would you name a sushi roll if you had to name one? What would you name it? Bokin this life roll. What? Bokin this life roll? I don't get it. Made in China. <laughs> the 5,000. Free Willy. 1,000 won. <laughs> what was the points? WW points. Not Dolphin. Sure it's not. All right. It's Oh, every 15 minutes we hydrate people. Hydrate and share everyone. Hydrate and share all 120 people. The hot fudge roll. What pound scrum wraps? <laughs> Actually, I didn't invite the people from the other side. I need to invite the people from the other side. So let's see if we can invite the people from the other side. People from the other side, come on down. Let's see. Okay, people from the other side, we're going to invite them right now to join us. Oops. Okay, where are you people from? I, this is difficult to get people from the other side into this. Okay, I'm having a hard time bringing them. So let me try. Let me try one more time. We go Facebook. We go Facebook. We go Facebook. We go to my fan page. Hello, hello, hello. If you are on Facebook, uh, my fan page would love to have you like it. Okay, so here we go. And now we can invite the people from the other side to join us. Okay, here we go. All right, and now we are still live and we're back with TikTok. And Maria P. Kali, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Okay, slamming salmon tastes like tuna. Flounder, they're evil. Why are you inviting them? <laughs> Rolling kidney stone. <laughs> okay, whale tail roll. All right, Chris Martel's at work and he's watching for a few minutes. Air dried shrimp. Cookies and cream sesame roll. Upchuck roll. Doorbell roll. <laughs> Dory. <laughs> Fake bacon, rolling on the floor, laughing, sushi. Okay. M says belly roll, belly roll, right? The double double roll, <laughs> the hot fudge roll, pound scrum wraps. All righty. So, anyway, today I cooked, people. Yes, I cooked. What do I do? I do the paella. If you ever been to Spain or you know, I think South American the dish as well but it's a spanish dish is rice with sausage with uh, chicken and with shrimp and tomatoes and spices and that's what i made and it's really good it's always good when i make it 
So anyway, I cooked. Yes, it takes about 20 minutes to make it. And mushrooms and onions in it. And you can put, uh, you know, one day if the Louisiana ladies are so kind to me, maybe they'll they'll mail me some Louisiana spices that I can add to my... I have some Old Bay and uh, Kick Your Mama. <laughs> That's what the spices I have. But hey, I cooked. That's not Gnasi slamming salmon. Good one. Slamming when they're all cold up there. <laughs> okay. Sand in your shoes, Kaiser Roll. <laughs> Sars Sturgeon. <laughs> Sarah is on tonight. It makes me ill to even say sushi. I'm sorry. Regrets. Lily copy roll. <laughs> Japanese sliders. In the whale's belly. <laughs> I can't believe it's not sushi. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll sushi. Oh, speaking of rock and roll, people. Just to let you know, last night, myself and Tally went to saw the movie about Elvis. Elvis Presley. I have to say, it was great. I have to say, no sex scenes, no dirty language. There's a couple of kissing where he kisses the fans. And just, uh, you know, if you're ultra conservative, the way he was dancing was not appropriate for some people. But it was really a well-done movie. Tom Hanks did a great job and... Uh, it's just a good movie. It's just a clean, it's PG-13. I took my daughter last night. It's a long movie, it's a, almost a three-hour movie. But I highly, I mean, I recommend it. Just don't go early and watch the previews of other movies because there's some disgusting stuff there. Traditional paella has snails in it. Oh, well, I can't get snails in California. We're having a drought, Jennifer. Snails don't live in a drought state. Okay. <laughs> Not so happy meal, sushi. Mermaids munch. Do you make yepra? Yepra. No, no. I, there's only two or three meals that I make. Trust me. Don't ask me. Maha makes them all. I, I make two or three. That's all. I'm fighting a seasickness with this question. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Torched like my sushi cooked. Fake news. <laughs> How can it be fake news? Oh, it doesn't have fish in it. They told you it has fish. It didn't have fish. It's fake news sushi. <laughs> we can have nose hair sushi, lip smacking good sushi, Jonah's nightmare. In the ocean, the mighty ocean, the sushi sleeps tonight. That had to hurt if he kissed a fan. Did you guys, did you guys notice... You know how some people you try to talk to them and they, you know, like you're trying to be appropriate and respectful. So you're always looking in their eyes and while they're talking. And some of them are so demanding. They're like, they keep pointing like, hey, look at me. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Look at me. Well, this guy was talking to him. I kid you not. He had two nose hairs coming of each nostril and they looked like a, an ant antenna, like a bug antenna. And they were looking at me like, hey, look at us. Look at us. I'm like, I'm trying to look at the guy. He's like, can you, can you pay attention? I'm talking to you. I'm like, I know. I didn't want to tell him. It's like, and those nose hairs like, hey, we're here. We're here. Look at us. We're here. We're here. And I'm like, ah. And I can't look at him. And finally he goes, hey, oh, Naz, I think you need some Redlin. And I'm going, I think you need some nose clippers. That's what you need. I didn't tell him that, but that's, that's what happened. It's hard when someone has a nose hair sticking out and you talking to you and you're trying to be polite and look at him. That's if he gets the fan. Sneaker wave roll. It'll knock you over. Jonah's regret. Is it a movie that makes you teary-eyed? Not really. Not really. No. Who's asking? Michael, you're a man. Why do you care about teary eye movies? They have canned snails. I'll be able to watch tomorrow because I work from 11 to 4 and I'm off Friday. Yeah, it's a good movie. I normally never recommend movies here. Tiny, tiny dancers, hello. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you. Thank you for liking my stuff and all that. The question tonight is if you have a sushi roll, 
named after you, what would it be called? Or, or if you can name a sushi roll, what would you call it? Let's see. Barely moving sushi. <laughs> I'm logging off now. See you all next time. Thank you. Enjoy your work, Chris. Uh, hey, fishers, leave that sushi alone. <laughs> Pink Floyd. Uh, smelly belly sushi. <laughs> Rolling stones gather no moss roll. SpongeBob sea sandwich. All right. M cannot do eye contact. It took years to get her to fake it for the exact reason. Oh man, I understand. Ness, did you have to resist the urge to pluck? No, I ain't touching it. <laughs> Vegetail sushi. I roll my own and leave out the fish. I call them Napoleons. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's the name of your sushi. Vegan sushi roll. I plug a nose hair today. Adra hates it when I do that to her. Ow! 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 <laughs> That's what you get for plucking your wife's nose. <laughs> Sushi, I know, the, hey, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, where did we go with that? Right, Chris? Okay, let me change the question on you, people. All right, let me change the question on you. Today is okay. Let's keep it on the food thing. Give us a worst name or a slogan for a pizzeria. Worst name or a slogan for a pizzeria. Let me do that. Uh, let me pin it here. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Worst name or a slogan for a pizzeria. I think. I think I I misspelled it. There's too many R's. Oh, pizzeria. Worse. Oh. <laughs> My friend J Jimmy Brogan does something. It's like it's. I, I don't know why where this is getting this guy. He goes, I have a bad case of the pizzeria after I ate at the pizzeria. So, <laughs> okay, let's see. No, that sounds good. There was another. <laughs> Cardboard pizza. Pizza there. Here you go. Sarah said it. Burnt and turf. <laughs> Dropped and rolled dough. Jelly roll. Not bad. Good try, Tiny Dancer. Just keep keep them coming, guys. The question is, worst name or a slogan for a pizzeria? Dropped and rolled dough. Pie squared. Crispy critters. <laughs> Toss up. Pizza putts. Stand by to hydrate. Oh, it's yeah. One more minute. Thank you, Alan. I don't know if this got stuck. Sometimes I think... Uh, I think it's freezing on on behalf of TikTok. That's what happened last time. It freezes for a little while, then comes back. So, all right, easy greasy, crumby pizzeria, sweep the kitchen, <laughs> burnt and Ernie's. So then, okay. It is 9 o'clock, people. It's time to hydrate and share. Hydrate and share. All of you, all 121 people. Papa anchovies, I like that. Cardboard and salad. Okay, okay, okay. Roadkill pizza. Anybody else? The question is, worst name or a slogan for a six Sicilian pie? 
Fly the way pizza. All right, Jennifer, thank you for for thinking. <laughs> the mafia, that's a good name for a pizzeria. <laughs> the mafia, I ain't going there. TikTok owned effectively by China. We're supporting communism. Mm. Pie high. Well, I'll tell you what, Alan. Uh, when Facebook is controlling and Instagram and telling us when they can control our social media and what we can say and what we can say, it's just a matter of time where people are pulling out of Facebook. So, I don't know. Are we support? I'm not paying a penny for for them. I don't know. I know some people get paid for that, but I don't have an answer yet. I didn't think of it that deep yet. But I know for a fact that, you know, Facebook is starting to delete stuff. You know, they even took one of my videos out for copyright infringement of the comedian Nazareth, which is me. I violated my copyrights. <laughs> I stole something from Comedian Nazareth. And that was removed. So anyway, that's pie high. Shoe print pizza. McDonald's. Concrete shoes pizzeria. Fallen dominoes. You said they were from the other side. You were right. <laughs> no, the other side is Facebook. You're right. The other side of it. Pizza mud hut. Again. The wife's best efforts. Don't squeeze the pizza. Jabba the hot. <laughs> That's funny. Jabba the hot pizza. Italian salad pies. Vegan pizza place. Little Caesar. Oh, little Caesar. <laughs> little Caesar. Guts and size. <laughs> Good one, Catherine. <laughs> Guts and sides. I ain't going there. Burnt offerings, right. I'm praying for Elon to crush Facebook. I hope so. I'm funny. We are on Facebook right now. This is a freedom speech. The little freedom left. Little teasers. We know you have kids. That's a good Four guys instead of five guys. Alrighty. Thank you, my past, my bedtime. Have fun, y'all. Thank you, tiny dancers. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Eat our pizza. Look like a hippo. <laughs> Teresa, we missed you. We really, really missed you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, is that car, is that... Is that what do you call a classic car for sale you are putting on the show to, on your site? Slaughterhouse Pizzeria. <laughs> good one. You had me at pepperoni. That's a funny one. That's a good one. You get a laugh for that. <laughs> That's for Michael Ramirez, people. Okay. Pitiful pie. <laughs> good one. Burger King. Crusty grannies. Slices cost more than the whole thing. And cleaned. <laughs> We're getting religious all of a sudden, huh? Okay. Let's see. And cleaned. Okay, what's the name for a pizzeria or a slogan? Haha, <laughs> the car was one of many in the museum in Maine. Oh, that's what it is. Still it told. <laughs> Still told. Still it toes? I can't say it. Still it told toes. Great food news. They're opening a second Randy's Donuts in Costa Mesa. Yeah. Good for you, man. I was in Costa Mesa today. I got my hair cut. I go, the guy is in Costa Mesa, off Newport Boulevard. And they're doing a Randy's right after when people started eating healthy. Now Randy's Donut is opening. If you don't know who Randy's Donut is, 
It's very famous in Los Angeles. If you ever seen movies and see that huge donut on top of that store, that's Randy's Donut. Jose's Authentic Pizzeria. Sure it's authentic. <laughs> that's funny. Sushi Pizza. The Pig Out Piggery. <laughs> the Piggeria. <laughs> that's funny. You guys are funny. <laughs> Cheesy Teeth Pizza House. I never got a laugh before. Oh, it's my first time. Oh, Michael, here you go. You're going to get them all. Here's one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> That's just for our... That's for Michael, man. I love you, Michael. You've been with us forever from day one, I think. So you deserve. I didn't know it was your first time getting a laugh. Here you go. You got 10 of them now. Cheesy teeth pizza, the pecan pizzeria. At night. Good night, Brent. Thank you for joining us, brother. Pineapple pizza only. Naz, what is my favorite pizza topping? Ooh, that's a good question. I would say jalapeno. <laughs> uh, but... Anything sausage. I'm a big sausage guy. Sausage. Uh, 117. I'm late. Welcome, everyone. We love you, Pancho. How are you? 119. We were up to 122 today. Easy greasy area. <laughs> good, good one. Pizza just for laughs. Right. He Has he resorted to Christian guilt? <laughs> Lots of leftovers, pizza. Six cents pizzeria. We see dead people after they die. <laughs> That's a bad pizza. <laughs> I wouldn't eat there if I were you, Jen. The Sloth and Horse Trout <laughs> Restaurant. Joey just messaged me and said to tell all good night since none of his comments are showing up. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Well, Joey's our good chef. Choke and Stroke Pizza Hatteria. Pizza Hatteria. Michelle Van Dusen. Thank you for joining us tonight and last night. Great questions, guys. For Mike James, the comedian. Tastes like chicken pizzeria. The shoe fly is cargo pizza. Name the ingredient pizzeria. <laughs> That's like a game, Dolores. All right. If you can name what's in the pizza, you can eat it. Already. Oh, Brent joined us on TikTok. Thank you, Brent. I appreciate you, man. All right. In and out. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Mystery meat pizzeria. You know, I, I like, I now eat pizza that's like gluten-free. So there's a place called uh, Ma Mod... Pizza, M-O-D pizza here in California. And they make it out of cauliflower so you don't have to have all the carbs. This is good. I make necessary pizzeria. Guaranteed to make you choke. That's funny. Okay. Pie in the sky. Right. Cheese choking pizza. I'm talking about food. We're getting hungry. All righty. Okay, Bobby, I will try the Scarville before when I worked in a fine dining room at Disney. I'll play mouse. Play mouse every day when you're outdoors. Naz, that's what happened to me earlier in the week. Don't think you can have two comment streams open at the same time on Facebook. Oh. So he was, okay, maybe he was on the other side commenting. Michael, my sister says you look buff. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> That's. I hope Lydia's feeling better. Tell her we said hello. We prayed for her. Cauliflower. I just can't go there. Right, but no, they have regular one. Rosetti said Olive Garden. I thought cauliflower crust was high in carbs. Is it? I think it's cauliflower. At least it's. If you're gluten, 
it doesn't hurt you. The pizza roll, even the dog won't touch it, pizzeria. High stakes spice. <laughs> spice slice. Crispy cardboard. That's good. That sounded good for a minute. Crispy, yeah. Cardboard. Oh. All right. Thank you, Javier, guys. Javier has been so good to us. He's, he's on TikTok doing what Sarah's doing on Facebook. Freezer burn pizza. Special this week. Three toppings of your choice. Ice chip, ice, and frost flakes. Ouch. Okay, we're ruining the whole appetite right now. Here you go. The ch cholesterol pizza that keeps on giving, giving you calories, right? Or a heart attack. All right. Okay, it's 10 after 9. I'll tell you what, let's do the Guinness Book of World Record. And it's still about pizza. Always frozen. Okay, the Guinness Book of World Record, people. If you're new to us, this is what we do. We're going to read the record from the Guinness Book of World Record. And if you guess it right in three tries without looking it up, don't look it up then you can win this wonderful, beautiful toilet paper that is doing good on the Jenny Craig and losing weight continuously. Just doing great. Remember when it was that big and it kept losing the weight and losing the weight and now it's just on a roll, so it's kept going. So this is what you win. Don't complain, it's better than nothing. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> Michelle already answered. All right, the question is, on National Hand Roll Day today for, for sushi, the longest sushi roll was achieved by Tamana Otawara Festival Executive Committee in Japan at Tamana City Labor Athletic Center in Tamana Komamoto, Japan, on November 20th, 2016. How long was the longest sushi roll? Over 1,000, under 10,000 feet. How about that? Can you imagine over 1,000 and under 10,000 feet? So, Teresa, you guys can start over. You can't say it. Okay, Michelle said 3,120 and 10,000. She's ahead of the game. Those numbers count. The Diet Buster Hut. Thank you for my TP. You're welcome. <laughs> that should last you a lifetime. <laughs> 20 feet plus 9, no. Okay. All right, people. May give me your best guess. Over 1,000. No, you can't do over or under. Javier, just guess three numbers. 29,000 feet for Teresa. That's a lot of dead fish, right? It means to be raw fish when they started the roll. By the time they end, it was... That's... Yep. 1333, 5733, and 7533 for Jennifer. Sarah, 1111, 5555, and 7777. Jabba the Pizza Hut. <laughs> it's funny, we just started watching Star Wars the last month, so this is all fresh to us. Not the pizza, but Jabba the Hut. And we end up the show. We we watch we watch uh, what do you call it? Star Wars, and then we watch the Chosen after it, so we can go to bed with the right, you know, images in our head. Catherine said forty five seventy six fifty six seventy eight and thirty five seventy nine. Neil said I copied Sarah. Go for it. Forty eight oh nine for Teresa. Longest sushi roll. The one that got away. <laughs> <laughs> Whale of a tail. <laughs> 1234, 2500, 2750 for Matthew. Becky Ottenberry, 1755, 2755, and 7777. Um, Michelle, you still have one more guess. The rooster ruby, the red hen, eats sushi sometimes, but mostly the veggie kind. Sure. Bobby said 4999, 5999, and 6999. All right. 1188 for Teresa. 
get your own number. <laughs> Anybody else? I don't think I heard everybody. Michael, where are you? What's your number? <laughs> That's funny. I copy Bobby. <laughs> Plus six. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, we forgot to hydrate people at 9.15. Okay, four forty nine hundred for Javier. Okay, hydrate and share everyone. Let's see how many people we have on Facebook. One hundred and eighteen people. Nat, did you say you got your hair styled the day you look fabulous, brother? Thank you. Not styled, I got it cut. Same guy for the last 35 years, he's been cutting my hair. When I had it down to here, and when I had it up to here. I've had it up to here with him. <laughs> Sold. He's a Jewish guy from South Africa. I think he is one of the best. I mean, the guy, he used to go to France, Paris, London, all over the world. They, because he get the models ready for, uh, for uh, what do you call it, for modeling shows, so he does their hair and cuts it and fixes it so he's really good i mean he's older now but still good you miss mine three 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 five 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 seven 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 for for poncho neil said one 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 five 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 seven 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 catherine can is patiently saying sold okay he said he got ha a haircut not sure why he didn't have them all cut <laughs> Lily's out at the cove all week. All right. Ness, did Matt's number come through 1234, 2500, and 2750? Did they come through? Uh, well, his thumb is hurting, so I don't know if they came. Yeah, they did. I read them. Okay, anybody else? Michelle Van Dusen, you have one more number left. And let's see. Sold. Okay, this is going to be difficult, people. I'll tell you why. Okay. Uh, Becky Vos said 28, 77, 59, 92, and 87, 47. It is going to be difficult. Okay, so I'll let you why. I'll tell you why. Sold, sold, sold. Okay. Uh, the longest sushi roll measured 9,332 feet. 9,332 feet. So, if we have to pick a winner, I think Michelle Van Dusen, who answered before, said 10,000. So, is she the winner? If she's still around... It was before she said it. If she's not, the winner would be Becky Voss with 87.47. So, Dolores, I missed Dolores. Did I miss? No. 11.67.3886 and 79.22 for Dolores. So, if that's the case, let's see who is Michelle. What's so cool? Yes, you won. Michelle Van Dusen, you won. One dollar. I think you missed the... No. All right. So, Michelle, you said 10,000. You're the winner. J.B. 10,000. Join us. So, you win? What? You didn't win. You didn't... You said 4,900 and you said over 1,000. That doesn't count. <laughs> okay. We're arguing with Javier right now. Congrats, everybody. Okay, it is 9.21. We have two minutes left before uh, we start asking for prayer requests. So, therefore, it is not a good time to start a new question. So, I just, I miss you guys. How are you? <laughs> uh, we, well, let's start prayer earlier. Uh, we need to pray for Rita. Rita has been 
I think she's in Tennessee. She's, I don't know what her living situation or work situation is, but she's not able to join us every night. So keep her in prayer. Uh, let's see, we're going to get you into the prayer early, people. That's fine. And all right. So, uh, also pray for Troy. Remember Troy from uh, Danville, Illinois? He comes in once in a while. He really needs prayers for his church and for himself. Prayer request from Joey. Okay, my leg has a lump in it for several days and it's painful. I've been on a couple different meds, but no result. Going for an ultrasound on Friday. Please pray for healing. We will be praying for you, Joey. Let him know we're praying for him. Yes, prayers. Uh, also, pray for my daughter, Carol. She's in Paris. She's been there for five days. She has five more days. So pray for safe travel, safe time there. I know we will be with you guys. Okay, prayer for my colleague whose daughter passed away. Do a tragic car accident. She was only 18. Oh, no. Oh, man, we'll be praying for your friend, your colleague, uh, Javier. That's hard. Ooh. I'm sorry, and I'm praying. Yeah. Well, every prayer is important to the person, and God takes, hears all of them. So, yeah, we'll be praying for that. Prayer for that, our sick and lost ones back east. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on. The one in the parade in, uh, in Illinois, the 4th of July. Uh, other things that's going on. Just keep our nation in prayer. And uh, if you need any prayer, let me know. Uh, I just want to share something. I was at the, an event last Friday, a single event. And after the show, one person came to me and started saying that Jesus was actually not Jewish. I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, I listened to something on YouTube and this lady was doing a research and she found out that Jesus was not Jewish. He was actually Druze. If you've been to Israel, you know a little bit about Israel. I think the Druze are part of the Samaritan, leftover Samaritans, and they are, they have their own belief system and they, they can join the Israeli military, but they're not. So anyway, she goes, I, Jesus was Druze. This lady did her homework and research. I go, wait, have you read the Bible? She goes, yes. I said, have you read the New Testament? She goes, yes. I go, have you read the first paragraph of the New Testament? Jesus, the son of David, the son of Abraham. I said, was Abraham a Druze? No, he was Jewish. Was David Druze? He was Jewish. She goes, yeah, that's why the Jews hated Jesus, because he was not Jewish, he was Druze. I go, and she goes, and also she said that Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene. I said, listen, are you a Christian? She goes, yes. I go, listen, if I brought you a book, people, and this is what's important for me. If I, if I open a book, or you open a book, and if someone wrote the book who was not from the United States of America, and he's writing about his story and the research he's did about America. And he found out that, and he said, and I went to Denver, California. Yeah, I was in San Francisco and then I drove for three hours and I got to Denver, California. What would you do at this moment? I would shut that book and go, this guy who wrote it really never been to the U.S., never done research in the U.S., and have no clue what he's talking about. That's the end of the subject. There's no reason to continue reading. There's no reason to continue uh, following a person who you already know. You know what? Read the Bible first. If you have an hour on your week to read, read the Bible first. Because the Bible will show you the truth. And when you see the truth, you'll know what's counterfeit. And this person took about... 15 to 20 minutes, and I was just praying for patience because I got angry. 
I'm like, how can someone say that? And then they go, well, and he wasn't crucified. I was like, ah. Oh. But people, there's 10 people listening to me around that around my table so i i i couldn't i couldn't be rude i couldn't be you know i'm just like you know what please when you go home get on your knees and ask god lord who are you is this true he will show you he will reveal you if you're his child he will show you the holy spirit will show you the holy spirit is our teacher he can show you so that's just want to tell you encourage you you have time to read, read the Bible. And if you read stuff that you go, hmm, I don't know, go back to the Bible. I would I would side with the Bible. I'll put my money on the Bible. <laughs> Amen. Pray for Pastor Raul's wife. She's very ill. Oh, no. Yeah, she used to have a brain tumor. Pretty sure Jesus was Jewish. Look at his lineage. Exactly. Yes, please pray for Pastor Raul's wife. Very ill with stage four cancer. Her faith is strong. I know. Our usual prayer for those affected by the shooting in Chicago could have been Madison, which is an hour or so from us, and he changed his mind and went back to Chicago. And spoken for Bobby, my niece had a heart attack last night. I'm so sorry. We'll be praying for her, praying for Carol that continue to have an enjoyable time and safe trip. Thank you, guys. Thank you all, and please continue to pray for Javier's uh, co-worker or colleague whose daughter was, you know, was killed in a car accident. So keep that in prayer. Love you guys. See you tomorrow night. Have a great one. Love you too, Teresa, everybody. Hey, so no show this Friday? No, I will be in Colorado this Friday. So, Drews didn't come around until 986 A.D. Mm. That's after Jesus. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. Love you guys and have a great night.